As the hype around generative AI continues to dominate the technology and cultural landscapes, companies across all industries are moving quickly to deploy it for transformative business and customer benefit. But they're realizing they can't do it alone and need a global partner like NTT Data to help them not only create the right generative AI strategies, but also to build and power and manage these innovative solutions. Let's find out how NTT Data enables clients, as well as society as a whole, to move confidently into the Gen AI digital future, starting with Sai Shaker, NTT Data Group's Head of Global Industries. Sai, welcome to this special AI edition of Tech Impact. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me with you. It's always been a pleasure. All right, now, Sai, please tell us a bit about NTT Data and the work that you do. NTT Data has got its roots back over 150 years. So we are part of NTT Group, which is over $100 billion in annual revenue. And we have about 300,000 professionals around the globe. Now we are a fourth largest telecommunication company worldwide. And that's the best kept secret at times. And we have transformed ourselves into a company that can handle both data and digital intelligence. Now that's a unique combination. Now, with that unique combination, we have operations around the globe, and we are currently a $31 billion enterprise serving clients worldwide. What do we do? We do full stack services, physical data centers, marine cable, IP backbone, to IT consulting, all the way up to cloud. We work in multitude of industries, and we look at multitude of technologies to bring the best of breed solutions to our clients. Very interesting. Can you also tell us a bit about your global reach and your impact? See, we are the sixth most valuable IT services brand across, according to the brand finance. And globally, we are ranked 12th for Gen AI patents worldwide. Now, that by itself is a testament to our expertise and unwavering commitment to technological innovation. That's a very good statistics to have. But in addition to those testaments, we, we have a very strong global presence and we actually serve clients in over 50 countries. We have global networks that manage over 6 million assets for 6,000 clients across five continents. We are the only full stack ICT company with a energy efficient, compact and lightweight private large language model. Suzumi, as we call it, is very proficient and cloud agnostic, giving businesses an alternative to more heavily demanding and public models. We are a Japanese uh, DNA based company and that we believe in that technology shouldn't just be good. It should also do good. Now, Suzumi requires less energy consumption while being developed to integrate with highly efficient networks. Given this background, I would also want to pass it on to Andrew to get us some more additional details on how this manifests in business. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing. Now, Andrew, as Chief Data and AI Officer, can you share some additional details with us? Thank you, Mark. Absolutely. You know, NTT has a unique position in the marketplace when it comes to helping clients in their Gen AI journey. Grounded in our roots as a telecom company, and a data center leader, we're one of the only firms that can help clients go from strategy, how are they deploying and thinking about Gen AI, all the way down to the GPU in the data center. This ability to go from idea to metal allows us to disintermediate a lot of the players in between and bring a more holistic solution to our clients. An example of how we're helping our clients with Gen AI a large beverage giant that we work with spends a lot of money every year on marketing activities. Um, we are working with them to deploy Gen AI to help them do correlation analysis across several data sets that are usually disparate and are difficult to manage and piece together to help them manage in business. Now they're able to look at performance data and segmentation data to understand gaps that they have in market and applying marketing data to this, they can then see how to best spend those marketing dollars to close performance gaps that they have out in the field. Now, one last point I wanted to talk about was the marketing initiatives we have at NTT. Um, you're about to hear a whole lot more about us 
uh, in the media as we launch a new campaign for helping clients master their Gen AI uh, destiny. Wow, Andrew, I'm listening, and that is legitimately interesting and compelling from a business standpoint. Now, David, nice to meet you as well. Can you please tell us a bit more about what makes NTT data unique? And I would like to go a little bit deeper into our generative AI specific value proposition for our customers. And let me start by saying that those customers are under a very, uh, let me say, heavy pressure to get results out of generative AI. And this is because they are facing a technology for which they have to make a lot of decisions. So they are seeing this more as a risk instead of an opportunity. And that is why I think that having an end-to-end -end value proposition that is also full stack is very relevant for our customers. I think that by having this breadth of view of everything that Gen AI is bringing uh, to the company, I think it's more easy for us to help our customers to move beyond a proof of concept and move to a production environment in which they can scale the value of generative AI across the whole organization. So by the way, I think it's important that when we are saying that we can provide generative AI across all of the different layers of digital transformation and entity data, we can do that either on the public generative AI environment or by creating our own private AI or generative AI. And this is also very relevant for some of our customers, uh, maybe those who are dealing with strict regulations or very sensitive data. And I think that it's very relevant also to say that what makes us unique is that, first of all, we are combining business and technical knowledge. We have platforms, accelerators, best practices. We have also our own generative AI uh, large language models, and this helps us to support our customers in fine tuning, in training specifically the models for them. And of course, we are connecting those models with the right ecosystem for each industry. So that means that we can be very specific with the business challenges that our customers have. I'm really impressed. Very impressive all the way around, gentlemen. Thank you. Anything you'd like to add before we go? There's one key aspect that I would want to focus on is the ethics and security, you know, because ethics and security will be a game changer in AI adoption. Now, as a company, we are committed to responsible and sustainable AI reinforcing AI governance, ethics and innovation. Now, with the power of our innovative R&D and computing know-how, we are constantly looking at our portfolio with device LLMs, assets, tools, accelerators and partnerships. As others have said, AI is the biggest revolution in technology in the recent decades that we have seen. We are transforming our products and services to democratize AI, making it safer and more accessible for all, while positively impacting business outcomes for our clients. Thank you, Mark. What amazing work. Team, thank you for joining us on this special AI episode of Tech Impact. And if you'd like to learn more, check out their website on the screen and you can also visit techimpact.tv.